Top 10 Evidence-Based Practice Research Topics Evidence-Based Practice versus Nursing Research Evidence-based nursing aims to provide patients with quality care based on state-of-the-art research and knowledge rather than pure advice or personal opinion. In turn, nursing research focuses on obtaining new knowledge or confirming existing results based on theory. In your paper, you could compare and contrast the two concepts. Importance of evidence-based practice in nursing Compared to other professions, nurse practitioners spend a significant portion of their time caring for patients, managing their treatment, meeting their needs, and making important decisions about the care process. We invite you to discuss why nursing practice must evolve into a profession that is more focused on continuous research and knowledge. Evidence-based practice and its effects on global healthcare system. Using scientific data to support clinical decisions is a growing trend in healthcare. Evidence-based practice, EBP, describes the systematic search, evaluation, and use of current research results for clinical decision-making. In your paper, you could discuss the effects of EBP on the global healthcare system. You can focus on the role of evidence-based medicine in nursing practice and its impact on various state-level healthcare systems. The Role of Telehealth in Patient Care The development of telemedicine in recent years is due to technological progress and the COVID-19 pandemic, which triggered lifestyle changes for people worldwide. It offers many benefits compared to face-to-face -face meetings, such as reduced travel and time costs, reduced risk of infectious disease transmission, etc. We invite you to discuss the impact of telemedicine on patient satisfaction, access to care, and treatment outcomes. Nursing Interventions for Acute Pain Management Acute pain is probably the most distressing symptom for hospitalized patients. Moreover, it is directly related to patient satisfaction. Patients suffering from unrelieved pain are more likely to report dissatisfaction with their care. A paper on the topic should focus on interventions for effective pain management. Discuss the efficacy of pharmacological and non-pharmacological methods. Mindfulness-Based Interventions for Mental Health Mindfulness practices include mindful breathing, mindful walking, other simple forms of meditation, keeping a gratitude journal, and so on. Can these practices help one improve their mental health and well-being? What is their role in managing anxiety, depression, and stress? These questions are worth exploring. Evidence-Based Strategies to Reduce Falls in Elderly Patients Prevention of falls in aged patients is possible only with their active involvement in the process. Research shows that various forms of physical activity, adequate sleep, and avoidance of alcohol have the best effect. In your paper, you can discuss the most effective evidence-based interventions to prevent falls among elderly patients. What is the role of assessment, environmental modifications, and patient education? Implementing EBP in Nursing Education EBP encourages nurses to use current research findings, recommendations, and hospital protocols when making decisions about medical interventions. How to Integrate Evidence-Based Practice Principles into Nursing Education Curricula Why is it important to teach students to critically evaluate and use research in their medical practice? These questions are of high practical relevance. Patient-Centered Communication in Healthcare Patient-Centered Communication goes far beyond nurse interventions. This communication involves taking into account the cultural characteristics of the patient, as well as their economic and family circumstances. How does patient-centered communication influence patient outcomes and satisfaction? What are the most effective strategies for fostering effective communication between nurses and patients? These questions are worth exploring. Nursing Staffing Ratios and Patient Safety The shortage of personnel is an acute problem in the medical industry. The nurse-slash-patient ratio substantially impacts the quality of care and, therefore, patient safety. What is the relationship between nurse staffing rates and patient safety scores? 
What is the optimal nurse slash patient ratio? You should look at the empirical evidence and research results to answer these questions. Find more research topics on studycorgi.com.